Hi, Assalamualaikum. How are you kids? It's me again, Teacher Hani. In this video, we are going to discuss together the exercise in your textbook, Get Smart Plus 3 on page 28 and 29. Before we go to the story, we are going to look at five vocabularies. Number one, exercising, which means bersenam. Number two, playing baseball, which means bermain baseball. And for your information, baseball is an American game. Number three, skateboarding, which means sukan papan luncho. Number four, playing table tennis, which means bermain tennis. And lastly, number five, doing gymnastics which means bermain gymnastic. Now, we are going to listen to the story together. Help! Let's exercise. Jonathan loves sports. In this picture, he's playing baseball. He's hitting the ball with his baseball bat. Sandy is exercising. She isn't playing a sport. She's doing gymnastics. May and Jin aren't doing gymnastics, but they're exercising too. They're playing table tennis. Look at Tom. He's skateboarding. Skateboarding is good exercise and fun too. Alright, just now you have listened to the video, so now we are going to look back at the story one by one. And I want you to focus on is and isn't, are and aren't. In my previous video, I have taught you that we use is for singular subject and we use are for plural subject. Now, we look at these phrases together. We use is and are for any positive statement. We use isn't and aren't for any negative statement. For example, Sam is playing tennis. Sam sedang bermain tennis. So, Sam is singular and that is a positive statement. Example number two, Sam isn't playing tennis. Sam tidak bermain tennis. So, that is negative statement and Sam is a singular subject. So we use isn't. The third example, Sam and Matt are playing volleyball. Sam dan Matt sedang bermain bola tampa. So Sam and Matt, that is plural subject. 
So we use a, and the sentence is a positive statement. Example number four: Sam and Matt aren't playing tennis. Sam dan Matt tidak bermain tennis. Okay, so we use aren't because the sentence is a negative statement. Now we look at this picture, picture number one. Jonathan loves sports. In this picture, he is playing baseball. He is hitting the ball with his baseball bat. Okay, so this is Jonathan, and he is playing a baseball. This is what we call a bat. Okay, so Jonathan is using his bat to hit the ball. Picture number two. Sandy is exercising. She isn't playing a sport. She is doing gymnastics. All right, kids. Now. I want you to focus on this word, isn't. Okay, isn't. We use isn't for singular subject. In this case, Sandy is a singular subject, and isn't here shows a negative statement. Sandy tidak bermain sukan. So, what does she do? She's doing gymnastics. Picture number three. May and Jean aren't doing gymnastics, but they are exercising too. They are playing table tennis. For this picture, I want you to focus on this word, "aunt." Okay? Why do we use "aunt"? Because May and Jean is a plural subject, so we have to use "aunt" for the negative statement. Okay? So in this case, May and Jean tidak bermain gymnastics, but They are playing table tennis, tetapi mereka bermain tennis. I hope you understand my explanation, kids. Next, we go to the picture number four. Look at Tom. He's skateboarding. Tengok Tommy. Okay, dia sedang bermain. Papa Luncho. Skateboarding is good exercise and fun too. Ia adalah sukan yang bagus dan menyeronokkan. Alright, so that's all kids for the story. Now, this is your task. I want you to complete the exercise in your textbook on page twenty-nine. So this is the task which you can do in your exercise book. So that's all, kids, for today's video. Good luck and bye.